tell the story of a couple who had been married for seven months. And one evening, the wife greeted her husband when he came home from work and said, Honey, I have wonderful news. I have absolutely wonderful news for you. Pretty soon, we're going to be three in this house instead of two. Well, the husband's face lit up with joy, and hugging his wife, he said, Oh, darling, I am the happiest man in the world. And at that, the wife said, I'm so glad that you feel that way, because my mother said she would be able to move in with us as early as next Monday. <laughs> hey, folks, I have some wonderful news for you very wonderful news. For these nine days, I will be telling you about the wonderful news that God has given to each one of us, seven wonderful gifts. We call them the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And during these nine days, I will try to explain to you what the gifts should mean to us. Now, if, if you've heard me preach before, you know my style. I like to tell a few stories at times. You know, they tell the story of a teacher in Sunday school who always told stories. And she always ended each story by saying, and now, children, this is the moral of the story. Well, the kids liked the stories, but they didn't necessarily like the moral part. And one day the teacher was sick, and another teacher took her place. And one little boy came home from Sunday school and told his mother that the class had a new teacher that day. And the mother asked, well, what did you think of her? And the boy said, well, we like her better than the other teacher because she tells stories, but she has no morals. <laughs> okay, hopefully, hopefully, my stories always have morals. I always hope and pray that people are able to look through my stories and get the message, the moral, so to speak. Which brings me to my major point. Please pray that many people will participate in our novena, either here in person or on the internet. Please pray that they will get the message, so to speak, and that the message will give them a better appreciation for what we call the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Folks, I am not a theologian. I cannot tell you that I will give you a technical explanation of the gifts. What I can do is to try to share with you what the gifts mean to me, and hopefully what the gifts should mean to you also. May we all feel the presence of Mary, our Blessed Mother, during this novena. Let us ask her for the opportunity, thank her for the opportunity, for, 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 for directing our attention to the gifts of the Holy Spirit. A woman tells this story. She says that she always gives a generous Christmas gift to her grandchildren. She always sends them a card with a check for $100 in it, but she said that each year they never respond. They never send her even a thank you note. But she said last year things changed. She said as usual, she mailed the generous Christmas gift to each child, grandchild, a $100 check. But she said the day, the very next day, each grandchild came over in person to thank her. And she was telling a friend about this, and the friend said, well, how wonderful. She said, what do you think caused them to become so polite and grateful? 
And Grandma said, well, it was easy. This year, I didn't sign the checks. <laughs> this is an important point that I'm pointing out here. Folks, the Holy Spirit has given us gifts, seven of them. Hey, are we like those children? Have we taken those gifts for granted? Have we failed to thank the Holy Spirit for these gifts? Have we tried to use the gifts that he has given us? Folks, during this novena, truly let us thank the Holy Spirit for his seven gifts. I have a f time to share a few words with you about the gift of wisdom. I'm going to start off very simply by saying, I believe that it is the gift of wisdom that reminds us of the meaning of life. A woman from the Deep South uh, went into the local newspaper office to put in an obituary for a husband who had recently died. And the obituary editor informed her that the fee for the obituary was 50 cents a word. And she paused for a moment and said, well then, let it read, Billy Bob died. And the, now the editor smiled at the woman's thriftiness but said, I I'm sorry, ma'am. There is an eight-word minimum on all obituaries. And the woman very quickly said, okay, in that case, let it read. Billy Bob died, 1983 Ford truck for sale. <laughs> hey folks, when we die and someone writes our obituary, Will that, all, will that be all that they'll be able to say about us, that we died? Hopefully, when we die, people will be able to say to us, we knew the meaning of life. I was reminded of the meaning of life in first grade grammar school in OOPH Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, when sister said, take out your catechisms. And we read the first question, which was, who made me? And we said, God made me. And the second question was, why did God make me? And what did we say? God made me to know him, to love him, and to serve him in this life, and to be happy with him in the next. In other words, the meaning of life is to someday enter the kingdom of heaven. Some time ago, uh, after celebrating Mass in a Princeton, New Jersey church, a woman came up to me and told me that her, her, her daughter's pet uh, fish had died. And she said her daughter asked her if the fish went to heaven. Well, the woman told me that this was beyond her knowledge of theology. So she said to her daughter, well, we'll ask Father Charlie about that on Sunday. And she said, the little girl thought for a moment and said, does Father Charlie know a lot about fish? <laughs> hey, no, I do not know a lot about fish. I don't know if fish go to heaven. But I do know that people go to heaven. And I do know that Jesus told us how to get there. Folks, it is the gift of wisdom which reminds us that we are children of God. It is the gift of wisdom that reminds us that we are supposed to make a journey to the kingdom of heaven. Those who possess the gift of wisdom know what life is all about. Okay, certainly it is about making a living, you know, supporting our loved ones, loving them, and yes, enjoying the pleasures of life. But that is not the complete meaning of life. Life is a pilgrimage a journey to the kingdom of heaven. It is the gift of wisdom which allows us to say to God along with St. Augustine, you have made us for yourself and our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. It is the gift of wisdom that enabled us to say, say with David the psalmist, my soul finds rest in God alone. 
Folks, today, let's spend a few minutes alone with Jesus, with Jesus and our Mary who loves us. And let us say to them what Augustine did, my heart is restless until it rests in you. Folks, during this novena, I will have more to say about the meaning of life and how we are able to find rest in Jesus and our Blessed Mother. So let's continue our Mass. Please, let's thank Mary, our Blessed Mother, for giving us an opportunity during this solemn novena to, to, to thank the Holy Spirit for his seven gifts.